Nobody wants their Twitch stream to look blocky, choppy, blurry, or cut out. And having the right internet connection is crucial to avoiding these problems. In this series, we'll be covering what you can do to improve your internet for the best Twitch streams, starting with Twitch recommendations, ISPs, and Ethernet connections. Bitrate is essentially how much data is uploaded to the internet per second, typically measured in megabits per second, or Mbps. In the case of Twitch streaming, the more data, the higher quality your stream can be. But how much data? Let's look at the bit rates that Twitch recommends as the minimum for each resolution and frame rate. For 1080p, 60 FPS, 6 megabits per second. For 1080p, 30 FPS, and 720p, 60 FPS, 4.5 megabits per second. For 720p, 30 FPS, 3 megabits per second. Check the link in the description if you don't have photographic memory. What does this mean for you? Essentially, you'll want an internet connection with an upload speed that's about 1.5 times or more of the recommended bitrate for the resolution and frame rate you want to stream at. Because of network speed variances, you never want to stream at the peak upload speed available. Now, speaking of availability, we'll start our journey to get the best internet connection from the very source, your internet service provider or ISP. Specifically, make sure you're on a plan with high enough upload speed for your desired output resolution. At the time of this video, it appears that ISPs are not quoting upload speeds online, so make sure to call to politely get the scoop. Try not to go all Tom Cruise on them, please. If your provider is only giving you two Mbps upload speeds, then maybe you should switch to another plan or provider. We recommend a plan that uses cable or fiber technology if available in your location. DSL is really the new dial-up. Check with services like Google Fiber, Verizon Fios, or HTTU Verse to see if fiber is available in your area. However, due to infrastructure limitations, some locations just don't have fast enough internet speeds available, so you may have to compromise to a lower resolution and frame rate if you just don't have faster internet available. The speed that you purchase from your provider may vary from what you actually get once the internet actually gets to your computer and console. So always run a speed test on your device with the connection that you're using. Consoles will have speed tests in their network settings, while on computers you can use Ookla speed test or Google speed test. Once you ensure that you have the fastest internet you can buy, we highly recommend a direct ethernet connection from your console or computer to your internet modem, router, or switch. For example, yours truly has a fiber modem that is connected to a Netgear Ethernet switch with an Ethernet cable, which is then routed with a length of cable to a PS5 and computer on their own connections. A wired connection not only allows you to get the maximum speed possible from your service, but also gives you unbeatable stability. Even if it takes getting a large spool of Ethernet cable to run through your house to your computer, it's worth it for your stream quality. To learn how to set up your console to livestream with overlays without a capture card, check out the tutorials in the video cards. Want to chat with our community? Come join our Discord through the invite in the description.